Hey everybody, we're going to be going through a bunch of the problems and some answers concerning the DZ09 smartwatch. And more than likely a lot of this stuff will work on other similar watches because there's many. Now as it turns out, people get one of these things because they're cheap. It's a real cheap way to try out a smartwatch and for whatever reason people just don't like the watch faces but the more common reason is that they just want their own watch face in there but with these uh, very cheap smart watches you typically only get three and they're really not that great but what happens is when people are trying to do this trying to change things on these watches they run into all kinds of problems so, when we start out, we need the flash tool. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of videos running around and a lot of information about this flash tool, how to make your uh, ROM backup, and all kinds of good stuff. But there's, uh, you, you know, you go sifting through this stuff, and as it turns out, for the specific watch you have, you, you probably won't find answers or you won't find answers that you like. And yeah, in here you'll probably find some answers that you won't really like. Well, in any case, if you are, the, the main recommendation is that if you ended up with a clone instead of an original, then send it back and try to get the real one or send it back and try to get your money back. But if you're outright stuck with the specific watch, which happens to be a clone, which happens to be the source of many of these problems, then we'll try to run through some of these problems so as you can get around it. So when you open up this thing, the flash tool, okay, typically the flash tool, check this, alright, that's pretty much the version you want. Now, you do need a specific ROM for the scatter file, specifically intended for your smartwatch. But you gotta first and foremost figure out which smartwatch you have. So you open up the dialer on the smartwatch and type in this code here, okay? And you end up, yeah, I know it's not exactly 100% clear, but you get the idea anyway you end up with uh, the version information. Okay, now in this particular case, mine happens to be a 61D, NTK61D, BT dialer 11C. So when you look that up, and I did, you can find firmwares for it, okay, that you can use here in the flash tool to make a backup of your own. From there, once you've got the scatter file, all right, now I'm going to load the scatter file here. If you want to avoid a lot of the problems, make sure you get one that's specifically labeled. Others might actually work, okay, but you end up running into all kinds of other problems on the watch itself. So try to get as specific as possible. Now in here, in this particular folder, it's already a ROM dump, a ROM backup. Okay, but well, you can go ahead and try these different numbers. This happens to work for me. The other one is to switch this second zero right here to a one and switch the four to a zero. There's actually one more. Uh, when Magic Babe puts the links in the description, she'll put all three numbers in there too. I'll give it to her. So, you can check all the other videos and figure out how to make your ROM back up, okay? Now, a lot of times you'll see all kinds of different errors with a different number. Most of that, actually the majority of that is because you use the wrong scatter file. So, like I said, you've got to get specific ROM backup that somebody already uploaded. And then from here, 
just made a ROM backup from my own watch. And that's fine. And you get all kinds of crazy numbers in here too with clones. You know, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't, but it but the typical case is that when you turn this on for a RAM test, it says you can get this number. It'll show up in here. You click the start, shut off the watch, plug it in, and this thing will start reading, or it'll throw an error. Most of the time it throws an error because it's the clone, or there's something wrong and you didn't install the drivers properly. So make sure you install your drivers properly first. So, you've got this, and you've got all these other numbers here, the IMEI number, and this one here says you can install other apps, that's if it actually works, but typically you try it with the SIM card installed first. Okay, now there are other numbers, but I'll just keep it short and simple right here. Okay, so if this completes successfully, you'll have the ROM file. Okay, this is the ROM file that you have to use the readback extractor. And that will create your ROM backup. So, you open up your MTK resource editor, open that, switch it to all files. Now what happens is you're supposed to be loading the ROM file. Now what happens when there isn't one? Try the file 01 first and the file 02. Maybe you catch some luck depending on which clone you've got, but the recommendation was to try one of these two files here. Okay. See, after you use the, the ROM extractor, all these other files here, there's your scatter file. This one happens to be from my smartwatch. And then you're supposed to have an actual ROM file. That's the one you open, but even still, some opened it. But when you look at the pictures, there's nothing. Now this is the typical case on clones, especially the 61D. The MTK 61D, if you're stuck with that one, bad news is you can't really do much of anything about it. There's really nothing that you can grab to edit and change the watch faces. I mean, you got a few sound effects, but whoopee. Now, if you tried a couple of these files, tried the first one, tried the second one, okay, still nothing try the others, you're still going to get the same thing. Okay? Still nothing. So, in any case, uh, that's typically what happens with these clone smartwatches. The clones of DZ09 and, uh, what was it, uh, M8, A1, there's, there's like a wide range of them. So, like I said, first and foremost, find out exactly which one you have. That way you can avoid a lot of errors and get a very specific uh, ROM. So as you can get the specific scatter file. Now from there, you wanted more info. Now the good folks over here at uh, XDA were nice enough to provide, well, if you click last, you'll see about 232 pages worth of info. Actually, it's on this one. There's about 232 pages here. I didn't uh, check this one. And yeah, there is, in fact, a lot of good info. Now, for others that have the 61D, here's a specific ROM for it here on Need ROM. Okay. Of course, the links will be in the descriptions. In the description, some people had a problem with it. Invalid scatter file. Touch screen is not working, etc. That's probably because they they didn't have an exact match. And even if they did, 
touchscreen is not working, it's probably something a tad bit different compared to what you have. That's why you make the ROM backup from the one you have. So if something goes haywire, you can use this, find the other videos, and figure out how to uh, flash your smartwatch. So this one here was nice enough to put up a whole bunch of firmwares. If you have one of these fir uh, versions of the smartwatch, these are the, the, the original, not clones. So typically these will work fine. So you open up this as a Google Drive. So it is these. You can see the link down there in the bottom left. But the links to these pages will be in the description. And then on this one, you've got a whole wide variety of firmwares you can try out with your smartwatch. But again, get a version match. Now I tried out a few of them here, even though it wasn't a virgin, a version match, virgin, yeah. Bleh, we can talk. <laughs> so I tried a couple of these, and still the same results. It's because of the specific 61D, which you're really not going to be able to modify or edit much at all. So that's about all I've got for now. So if you got questions, even though myself or Magic Babe can't answer it, you can still post it in the comments. Maybe somebody else would be nice enough to answer. And good luck with it.